Hey guys, it's Monday. I gotta figure out what I'm doing today because it's supposed to be the day where I film my toy videos. I assigned Mondays to be film and edit three toy videos, but the problem is... <laughs> we have a Christian here because he worked Saturday so he has Monday off and so I realized by scheduling filming on Mondays that doesn't really work very well. It was, it'd be okay if it was maybe an art video if, as long as it was a speed paint or something, but um, since he's sometimes home on Mondays, that's not an ideal day to film my toy videos because I need it to be like quiet, cats need to be napping or just well behaving. And so I'm not gonna do that today. Um, like he could just be quiet while I film, but I don't like that. I'd rather just be home alone. Um, and then tomorrow's gonna be live stream, so I can't do the toy videos that day. And so I'm trying to think of like a permanent day of the week I can assign it. I'm kind of thinking Thursdays, but um, we'll see. Cause I'd like it to be during the week, to leave my weekends open. Like I don't want to be filming videos on the weekends anymore. I want it to be like maybe just me sketching or like, I don't know, if it's a day where Christian's not here, I might do an extra live stream. Or just like, it's also weekends I like to, you know, get our groceries, do laundry, tidy up the apartment, that kind of thing, and not be worried about making videos. Although I, I always reply to comments because I can't stay away from it, especially on Twitter. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, like there'll still be stuff I do, and of course the vlogs happen every day, but I don't want to be like working on art videos or toy videos on the weekend. So, uh, that's my goal I want to get to. Right now it's tough when I still have a store open, but yeah, so I'm thinking today Um, okay. Well, wait, let's rewind a little bit or fast forward <laughs> This Friday coming up. I already have my art video done for this Friday because it's going to be the auction video for the YouTube artist collective and I've already made the art and filmed it. I just need to edit the video, but um Yeah, it's already filmed so I don't have any artwork to work on during the live stream unless I just start doing some random art. But what I decided I want to do is I want to start working on another painting because I bought all those water soluble oil paints and um, that's something I can do during my live streams because I was worried. I was thinking, okay, I don't always do a speed paint video every week for my art video. So what am I going to draw during my live streams? And I think paintings would work really well for those days. Or just other things. I might start practicing digital or I might just do a bunch of sketches. Like who knows what I'll do during those live streams. But um, tomorrow I think I'm going to paint. And so I'm pretty excited about that. So today I might um, prep my one canvas. Probably the one I started. Well I might not. I might just leave that for another day. Because the one, the painting I already started. I'm basically going to like get rid of it. I'm either going to. I don't know if you can scrape the paints off, I'm going to have to look into this, or I can just like gesso and sand it and kind of restart. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to do some kind of painting. And I'm not 100% convinced that I want to continue with using like the wood that I got. It's like super smooth. I might want to try canvas too. But anyway, for tomorrow I'll have to deal with what I have. I want to work on my oil painting stuff during the live stream. And so I kind of want to have a plan laid out for what I'm gonna do, so it'd be nice to get that done today. And then maybe just package some orders because I have a bunch more that came in in the last two days. And tidy up these. We also have to do laundry today. Laundry, I hear kitties ripping around. Eating crazy cats. Ripping around the apartment. Nope, Kiki, no. Don't make me get the spray bottle. Don't make me get the spray bottle, bubble. Okay, got our laundry sorted. Let's go. Let's get my hair clothes clean so I can wear my favorite clothes again. <laughs> Not necessarily my favorites, but like favorite for current weather and comfiness at home. Are you burrowing in there? You're gonna get caught in the washer. You're gonna get in the washing machine. You wouldn't like that. You'd get all wet and tumbling oh, around shit. and probably die. Don't swear when I'm vlogging. Christian's shaking the clothes and there's a bell rattling. The kitties had a toy on the bed just now. Uh, Kiki must have knocked it down into the pile. 
Shaking the clothes. Oh. Got it. What have I done? Rah! So, um, I had to open this up for a few reasons. One, Rapunzel's head was kind of turned too far backwards. It was like weird. She wasn't even looking at this. She was looking kind of behind it. And then, um, her sleeve was also smooshed up against the glass like this. And so I wanted that down. And I kind of wanted to fix some flyaway hairs. Like there were some hairs on top of the flower. That kind of stuff. Like I wanted to fix her up. So I opened it up. And then I decided to go a step further. And I decided to get rid of some of the plastic holding them together. Because there was a piece of plastic coming out holding up her arm. But her arm stays up just fine. Because there's elastics actually keeping her arm in this position. If I wanted to pose her arm, I could clip those elastics. But I like it like that. I just can't swing her arm forward which kind of sucks because I'd, I'd like to have her arm more forward so that she can look more forward but yeah I'm trying to figure out a way to display this like you'd really have to look at it from this angle to see both of them Flynn just looks angry he looks like a murderer um yeah so I took off the thing holding up her arm and then I also removed a big piece of plastic it was this with twist ties that was like stuck between them because they actually do have their own stands. I was debating just like removing all the packaging and making him stand up with his stand because I don't like how he's right behind her. You can't even see him. So I was thinking of sliding him over, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave him like this for now so that he's still more securely attached. She's quite securely in there. Like she'll stay standing. Also turned this a bit so that the sun is facing more forward. Um, yes. I'm excited. <laughs> and so it makes me, you know, you know, I took the plunge, I opened one up because initially I was like, I'm not even popping the plastic cover off. But now I'm like, well, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I'm not hanging on to these to resell them. I'm just, I, I want them to be nicely displayed and, you know, might as well have them look their best, even if that means opening them up. Maybe she doesn't even have to look at that. Maybe she can be like that. Yeah. I just want to see her face more, but she's so turned. I'll just have to display them like at an angle or something like this. Oh, this Rapunzel, so beautiful. I just got her braid. It's my favorite. Okay, this is not a review video. I should stop. I should put the plastic back on, but I want to clean out the inside of it first. I wouldn't mind just completely removing them from the cases. Cause you can keep the base. Like I could display them on the base without the whole casing around them and take out the backdrop and stuff. My only fear is that they'd get really dusty. Like my Hot Toys Loki gets super dusty. Um, I wouldn't really like that. It'd be really hard to dust them off because of all their little details and fabric and stuff. But they would just be so much nicer for displaying, right? And with this box, I don't know if you can tell yeah I think you can kind of tell on camera if the case is yellowed it's like this is a bit this one is a couple years old this collection with this Rapunzel and Flynn and so look how yellow the case already is so I'm like mm. you know if they're gonna turn yellow over time I'll probably end up taking them out of the cases over time so we'll see because it's like so reflective and you'd see them so much better if they weren't in the cases but the cases are really pretty at the same time uh, the dilemma of a collector. See, look, you see it from this angle and it's like, where is Flynn? There's all that empty space, but where's Flynn? He's like, not even there. <laughs> look what my printer did. Look what I've done! And it might have been because Kiki was sitting on the stupid tray. Because the ink was running low, but it wasn't completely out. And so I just replaced the ink, but... <sighs> Bad baby. Waste me a piece of paper. You know what would actually be nice? I just watched uh, Miss Carrie J's room tour yesterday, and she has this amazing glass case for her Hot Toys figures. I could get something like that, probably something bigger. Hers is really narrow. I mean, I could start with a small one like that, but it's really cool. It's just glass all around with glass shelves, and the front opens, and you can put stuff in it. That would be really nice. I could display the dolls without their boxes, because the boxes take up a lot of space and you can't see the dolls as well. So, 
what would you do if you had dolls like this or if you do have dolls like this do you take them out of the containers or do you leave them in what are your thoughts christian just said hey bailey where's the baby <gasps> oh <laughs> just try to get underneath her a little bit and just. Oh, hi, baby. baby. Little baby in a basket. Isn't that purring is so cute. Well, see you later. <laughs> Bye, baby. Have fun. Okay, I've got a whole bunch of prints going and I'm trying to make spaghetti and empty the dishwasher and I just, just put that up. I'm kind of doing a million things at once here. So this is what was in the picture frame and I might just keep this as it is honestly and hang it up in the spare bedroom. It's just connected to the piece of paper that was in the frame and I could either get a new frame for it or just kind of hang it as is. I might just leave it as it is and put it up in the spare bedroom because I do not have much space out here to hang stuff. So this is the print I got at D23, mine is number 17 out of 90. And I saw this and I was like, man, I need this. And it fits perfectly in this frame. It was the exact dimensions. So yay! I'm so glad I finally put this up and it's in pretty good shape because it got a little crushed in my suitcase. So the, the very end edges of the poster I thought were bent, but they're actually pretty fine. It's just like the poster itself wasn't, it was like it got rolled into a circle and then crushed a bit. So it was kind of bent, but not bad bends. So when you straighten it out, it still looks good. So I'm like, oh, thank God. It's so hard to bring back everything from D23. So I'm so happy that is up now. It's just oh, gorgeous, gorgeous poster. So I've, yeah, I've kind of maximized my wall space, but I could put something bigger over here if I wanted to, or like, it'd have to be low or high. But stupid thingy is in the way, so. Yeah, and the light switch. But, yeah, and I'm gonna organize up here too. So, yeah. So I was about to start packaging and I realized I can't do any packaging without my packing tape because I ran out. So I'm gonna have to go out right now and buy some, otherwise I'm kind of at a standstill. Because I have regular scotch tape, but I need actual packing tape to seal shut boxes because all my boxes come flat and I have to build them. And I need the packing tape to put them together. So I think I'm gonna run to the store right now and go get some, as much as I don't wanna leave. Um, kind of needs to be done, so. Off I go. It's already dark. It's like not even late. It gets dark so early now. It's like four o'clock, pitch black. Hey. Okay, I remembered I could go somewhere closer, so I was gone for like five minutes. Got my tape. Mm. And I also picked up this. It's a necklace, but I'm gonna use it to light my miniature Christmas tree. Hey, Christian. It's for my mini tree. Nice. They light up and everything. And they flash. There's three different modes. So I got through all my packages, it took a long time, I was having printer problems, and I have like five or six sheets of paper that got wasted tonight. <laughs> and one issue was banding, I had to do like a nozzle cleaning and stuff, and other times it was like ink running out, but the printer not acknowledging, like the printer would say it's out of ink, but it would continue to try to print, and so like, normally it would stop, so even if it's in the middle of a print, it will stop and say change the ink, but it wouldn't, and so like, the last half of a picture would be like the color would be off because it'd be missing a color and so it was like stupid I wasted so many pieces of paper but everything's finally packaged hi baby <laughs> we're having it ouch scratchy we're having a bit of a crisis with the boxes because I'm actually running out I have one tube left in like six boxes so I don't know if I'll just have to close my store after I run out or if I can try to scrounge up boxes I have lying around and recycling I don't know here's the damage for tonight though Got all those done. It takes a lot longer when they're in boxes compared to tubes or envelopes because I gotta like tape all the sides on both ends of the box. It's very time consuming, Barb. Just purring away. Just purring away. So thrilled with herself. Let's go see Daddy. There, going out with Daddy and Midna. There you go. Crazy baby. Are you being silly sisters? 
I know my pants don't match my shirts because I changed my shirt after I got dressed this morning. <laughs> Yeah, you're trying to sleep. You're trying to cuddle with your mommy and you're getting attacked. Hey, you're being a mean sister. You're being a mean sister. Mean, mean, mean. You're a big meanie. Oh, hi, Kiki. Oh, baby, baby. It's only 10 o'clock, but I feel like so tired. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of just want to pass out and go to sleep. Hey, baby. Is that what you want? Probably not, because you just woke up from your nap. Can I just go like this, baby? She'll probably wake me up by crawling all over me and meowing like you always do. Yep. They also will scratch me in the night, like if I get hot. I'll kick off my blankets, but then they'll just stretch out their legs or something or start to climb on me and their claws scratch me and poke me. Not terrible scratches, like just little scratches, but it wakes me up every time and it hurts. And... <sighs> They're a lot better though at night. They used to just pounce all over the bed and run everywhere. Um, but now they just sleep, Midna will sleep at the head of the bed and Kiki will sleep at the foot of the bed. And we keep the closet door closed now at night because Otherwise, they run in there and jump around, bang against the walls, and jump at our clothes and stuff. So. Now they can't do that. Neener, 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 neener. neener. Oh. Depending how many orders I get overnight, the store might already be closed by the time you're watching this. I might just close it once I run out of boxes. So when I wake up in the morning, we'll see how many orders I have and whether or not I should just close the store. Because I was not expecting to get this many orders once everything ran out of stock, so... I'm running out of stuff. So I need to close down the store even sooner than anticipated. I went to go grab the Spongebob joke book and I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in my mess piles, but... I can't find it right now, and I'm not going to bother with that today. So we're just going to skip a little Spongebob joke today. Um, I think I'm going to end the vlog, though, because I'm really tired. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Can our wedding theme be tale as old as time? Sure. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> video <laughs> confirmation. <laughs> well, I was thinking about that yesterday, and then today, two people have tweeted me so far this picture of these like Beauty and the Beast cakes, we wouldn't have to go so far as to be that explicit.